So for this project, I started with a nine and a half by nine and a half inch gold frame. And although I did not film the preparation of this frame, I do prepare all my frames the same. I removed the backing, I removed the paper, I removed the glass, I clean everything up, and then I take Elmer's glue and I put it around the perimeter of the back of the frame where the glass would sit. Then I replace the glass and I take Elmer's glue one more time and put it around the perimeter of the frame, this time at the edge of the glass. This can serve two purposes. It helps hold the glass in place and it helps prevent any resin leaks when you put resin on the other side. Next, I cut out a heart and taped it to the back of the glass. Oh. And here you see me doing it upside down. I do end up fixing it. <laughs> I do that kind of stuff all the time. And um, after I have it centered, I flip it over and I take this stuff called gallery glass. And the closest thing I can think to it, uh, about it is that it's like a puff paint. And I'm not really sure that it's any different. So I took this gallery glass and I went ahead and I went around the perimeter of the heart and then I let this dry overnight. So I wanted to show you up close what this looks like when you're putting it down. You're supposed to hold it up off the paper and kind of, or the glass, whatever, and kind of do it just like that. And um, you kind of let it fall onto whatever you're putting it on. So you hold the tip up and you can squiggle back and forth. Now, in this instance, I'm actually doing it on a plastic sheet because I'm going to let it dry overnight and I'm going to show you how we can remove it and reuse it somewhere else. So again, this is the last. And if you really do it slow, you can get the um, line pretty fat. I also went out and bought two other kinds of puff paint this uh, both tulip one's puffy and one something else and uh, they both worked pretty much the same I was able to um, put them down and kind of draw different designs and it was just as fat and this is right here that I'm taking off is actually the um, gallery glass and you can see how you start it with the razor but then just pull it up and then you're supposed to be able to set it down and make any shape you want. And it does work. Um, I, I haven't perfected my lines yet. So once you get used to it, you can. But um, you are able to actually pick it up and put it wherever you want. Kind of a lot of people use it. The main purpose of the gallery glass is to make it look like faux um, stained glass. And you can see this line that I had made was so squiggly, it's um, <clears throat> really hard to straighten out. But you have to be careful when you pull it up, and it does stretch out a little bit. And here's one of the puff paints, and that's what you're supposed to do. You're just supposed to set it back down and cut it with a razor, however, whatever shape you want to put it in. And I'm not being very careful, I'm just doing it fast, but those were the... Those were the puff paints, so like I said, they're very similar to the gallery glass. And I'm not really sure if one's more expensive than the other. You'd have to kind of check it out. I will leave a link to it in the description below, though. But that's just for your, your own information. What I did use was gallery glass. So the easiest way to touch up any mistakes is just to go in with a razor blade. And if you've messed up the whole thing, you're better off waiting for it to dry and then just removing it all with a razor blade and starting over. So next what I did was I took this metallic gold oil-based marker and I went ahead and I painted over all of the um, gallery glass or puff paint after it had dried for 24 hours. And if you do get this on the glass, um, the metallic marker, you can, you can do one of two things. If you get it up right away, you can use alcohol. If you catch it right away, uh, rubbing alcohol, or after it dries you, on glass, you can always scrape it up with a razor blade. So the resin I'm using for this project is Art Resin. It's a one-to-one -one ratio resin that you mix to together slowly for three minutes. I did mix it up off camera. 
So what I did first was I went ahead and just put a thin layer of resin on the bottom so that when I put the glass on, it will uh, be touching everything that is on the bottom layer. So the glass I'm using for this project is actually fire glass. It's gold reflective fire glass that I picked up on Amazon. And everything that I'm using in this video, I will link under the description with where you can get the products. As soon as I was sure I had the one layer down, it was all touching the resin, that I went ahead and I started putting more glass on top to make a second layer. And then I took the uh, resin and I just lightly drizzled it over the glass that's on the second layer to make sure everything was touched so that uh, it would be held down properly. And again, I'm just putting the resin inside of the heart. I don't want any of it to overflow onto the glass. There's really no need to put it on the uh, glass at all if I can keep it inside of this heart. And I did get a little bit of resin on the one side and I wiped it up with uh, rubbing alcohol. And then it was done. This needs to sit overnight on a flat level surface for, um, it takes a full 72 hours to cure at temperatures between 72 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. But after about 12 hours, the next morning, you should be able to touch it. But it, like I said, it doesn't fully cure for three days. You have to keep in mind that all resins are different and you need to read the directions for your particular resin. So the next day after it dried, I took some varnish and some gold mica powder. This is from Unicone Art, 24 karat gold mica powder, real pretty gold. And I mixed the two together in a cup. And I had actually mixed it the day before because I used it for something else and I had some left over. So I went ahead and used it today. And I just took it and I painted along the edges of the glass <clears throat> with it. So I thought I was done and I looked at it and I thought this just isn't thick enough and there's not enough glass along the edges. So I took it back and I put some more glass on it and then dribbled some more resin over it and then painted along the edges one more time. Hey everyone. So I just had to add some more glass to it. I just wasn't happy with it the way it was. And um, I don't know if you could tell the difference or not, but I can. And it, I think it looks a, a lot prettier. It's a lot higher. I don't know if you can see. Anyway, um, I think it looks prettier like that. And I wanted to show you on the back. So when you do that um, gallery glass, puff paint, whatever you want to call it. So it would be black on the back because, of course, you can't paint that. So I took the metallic marker and went ahead and went around there just so that it would make it look better. And actually the back looks kind of pretty too. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I think that turned out pretty. So if you don't have the mold, that's another idea of how you can do it. I mean, of course you can just uh, pile the glass up too, but then you would have to resin the entire um, thing. And I don't know if you could, well, I guess you could get it that high, why not? Um, but anyway, just an idea. You, you could do it any way you want, but I think it looks real pretty on the glass too. But my favorite is in that mold because you can really get it nice and thick. And it just, to me, it just looks so pretty. But anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to be um, notified of future videos, go ahead and subscribe. And I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching.